you here. Um, let's talk about how you're going to start your cycling wardrobe. So for those who have just started cycling and you wonder right, um, what kind of colours, jersey, deep short um, selection that you want to start. So here are some tips that you can consider. Now, the first thing first um, about getting your first jersey and first bib and helmet and so on and so forth is um, fit. So make sure that the jersey you choose, right, doesn't matter what brand it is, that the fit must be right for you. You feel comfortable, you feel um, it, there's no baggy, loose uh, edges, uh, it fits you very snug and um, you feel very um, neat, there's no loose edges. Yeah, that's the most important thing, fit. Um, you know, brand specific is not really that important when you first start cycling uh, but of course if you have a little bit more budget then you can go for something uh, higher in terms of quality so I'm going to give you some advice on how you want to start your to the jersey to the beach shirt, to the helmet, to the glasses, to the shoes and socks and so on now um, my preference when I, I, I'll touch the helmet first so my preference is when I want to get a helmet right I'll go for a plain white helmet of course, you can choose an option of black or white. So I, I choose white. Now, why I choose white is because that um, it's easier to uh, match. It's either all black. It's also easier to match. Uh, I don't go for those um, other colors like um, red, blue, and so on and so forth. So it's more difficult. Uh, the other colors could be more of a second choice option. Then you can play around with the colors. Uh, but you know, the safe colors are, are white and black. So, so I go for the helmet. And uh, for the cycling glasses, eh, try to stick to the black color frame glasses so it, it, it matches very nicely with your helmet. So you can see here black frame, white helmet, it fits very nicely. Yeah, it won't go wrong. Okay, uh, for the, the lens itself, it doesn't really matter. You can go for blue, you can go for red, you can go for black. Yeah, but um, preferably your, your frame black so it's more universally um, easy to match okay now for the big shots um, yeah like I said fit is most important because you're going for uh, long rides and your ass is the one that's going to take the most impact so make sure that the big shot is very comfortable you've got a nice cushion that um, is, uh, can give you standing for a nice long ride that you're going to enjoy right for the shoes for me also back to the same uh, principle black or white so you go for black or white and it's easier to meet the entire outfit. So your helmet and your shoes, either black or white. It's up to you, up to your preference. Of course, uh, white looks very nice, you know, when you cycle. And especially in the dark, when you cycle at night, it's highly visible when you cycle with uh, white shoes and white socks. Um, but there's some pros and cons. When you use a white colour shoe, then it's easier to get dirty and it takes more time to get, to get it clean. Whereas if you use a black colour shoe, um, it is more um, durable in terms of the, the maintenance, it's more easier. However, uh, at night it can be a bit dark when you, if, you, if you have a black bike and you have black shoes and black socks. So it's not so highly visible. So it's up, it's up, to, you. It up, it's up to you entirely. Okay? But for me, I, my own preference is a white shoe and white socks. Now, um, the basic Colors that you should start off with your cycling jersey, right? I would recommend um, go for the, if you get the first jersey, go for uh, a blue, okay? Um, uh, royal blue and the black color beach shorts. So that itself um, can be very versatile. You can wear it in the day and you can wear it at night. It goes very well with a white helmet or black helmet, right? Go for something very plain, nice. And to try not to have the messy, messy design colors. So. Yeah, stick to the plane. Uh, some small details will be good, but now try to make sure that the base is plain. Um, then the second jersey I would recommend is um, you know, go for a red color jersey. Then um, it also goes very well, red and black, and it also goes very well with the helmet. So you, you still um, stick together with the same colors, color, color, color uh, scheme that doesn't deviate very much. Everything still is the same except for the jersey. Now the, the, the third option that you can consider is a green color jersey. Okay, so um, dark green, uh, like uh, British racing green. Uh, so it, it looks very well. So British racing green, uh, red, and uh, blue, royal blue. 
So these three these three options right will really give you three sets of different looks. But um all together, the helmet and the shoe same. Now that would be a, a good base for you already to start your cycling uh, wardrobe. Now um the next thing you can do to consider is that you may consider getting another beach shot. Um, I won't recommend black all the time. You can mix and match a little bit. You can start with uh, black because it's, it's the most versatile color and easier to match. So the second beach shot you can consider getting a navy, dark navy color beach shot. So with that navy color beach shot, right, immediately you can transform your existing three sets right to at least up to five or six. Yeah, you can match nicely the royal blue and the navy beach shots. Um, red and blue. So goes very well, and uh, so uh, the 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 big shots, and then uh, racing green, and also the navy big, big shots also go very well. So with just uh, an additional one more um, big shot, you have another six more different outfit altogether. So I would recommend that if you want to go for um, you, you want to start your cycling model. Okay, so simple basic colors: blue, red, green, and then um, the big shots black. And after that, if you feel that you need to add another bit, go for a navy. So altogether, you have six different outfit colors. So, yeah, if you ride like um, two to three times in a week, you have six different outfit to go. So, and most of the colors that I, I, I recommend, you can you can fit it very nicely for night rides and day rides. So you you are still highly visible, and you still look very good. So this is how the blue color jersey will look like. So it matched very nicely with the white helmet, the black color sunglasses frame. So it's very simple looking blue color jersey uh, with a little bit of design on the side. And very simple design um, at the back as well. So if you ride this at night, so you can see it's uh, very visible. It's white. Some uh, reflective white over here reflect easily in the night, the dark. So this is how the red color jersey looks like. Red, white helmet, black sunglasses, and yeah, it's very nice, very clear. Okay, suitable for day and night. So this is the last option you can consider. Add to your cycling wardrobe, uh, which is dark green, and a little bit of a colors navy, it's like pink. Yep. So it's a similar design as the red one, just that this is in um, dark green. Okay, um, you can wear this uh, at night, but um, I think it is more suitable in the daytime. And as you can see, it match very very nicely with the helmet. And uh, yeah, so I pair this uh, all of the three jersey with my black color big shop. So. The last thing you can consider if you have already uh, gotten these three pairs of jersey is to get a navy color deep shot and that will actually um, create a few more uh, different look for your rides. So I can have this one over here, so it's in um, navy, so as you can see it pairs very well, so navy navy and yeah, it looks very good. Try avoiding um, colors like for jersey especially for white. And, and black. Um, now, white jersey looks very nice um, for a couple of, when you first when you first get it. But after a couple of wash, you know, you you start to realize that um, the jersey will turn a bit uh, yellowish. Uh, and it's not so easy to maintain, and, and when you get stains, only you start to remove it out. You know, and the, because the jersey is more uh, sensitive to material, so you cannot really put it through uh, a bit more deep, uh, harsh washing get the stain out so I was I would stay away from uh, white jersey but um, don't get me wrong it, it looks very good but just difficult to maintain um I, I, I know that some of you like um you know the black jersey black beach shot you know and yeah, black shoes black socks black helmet but um to be honest it's not really that practical um, especially riding in Malaysia because you want to be you want yourself to be very highly visible when you ride out there in the roads so I won't recommend you know going for that kind of outfit. Um, even black jersey on black big shot doesn't look to me that appealing. Um, 
you, you can have dark colors jersey, like navy jersey, black boot shorts, but uh, try to have like brighter helmet, like white helmet, uh, white shoes, white socks, so you are still highly visible. Um, yeah. So yeah, guys. So that's all, that's all for today. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay. Do uh, like, comment, and also subscribe. Right. See you guys. Oh, 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 oh,